Hi, I'm Nathan from Serious Geeks, and this video is going to be about the new rumour circulating the internet, namely, three wound terminators. As you can see on screen now, the new data sheets that come with the box sets for terminators actually have a change in rules, not just for the amount of wounds, but also for the weapons that they use. If we focus on the stat line, you can see that terminators are going up to three wounds per model. This change alone would be enough to make Terminators a staple in many people's army lists. Three wounds will make them an incredibly tough and difficult unit to shift, especially as you can use other things like stratagems, transhuman physiology, to make them all but unkillable on the tabletop. Combined with the new rules for obscuring terrain, board control being a necessity for holding objectives and scoring points in primary and secondary objectives. And you can see that Terminators are going to be very effective just with this stat line change. However, there is also additional changes that are in this box set. You can see here that power swords are going up to a stock plus one strength, so it's not just the Indomitus power swords, which are master crafted, that have in the change, but all power swords. This is a big change, it makes the actual Terminator Sergeant pretty effective, but also any model in the army that has a power sword is going to be very dangerous. The implied impact is that other weapons will get changed as well, Power axes, as an example, already give a native plus one and have an inferior AP, so why would you take them over power swords? It's likely they're going to have a change as well, possibly damage two or additional pips of strength. Moving back to this, we can see that heavy flamers have also gone up to a range of 12. That makes them effective. Previously, you would drop out of teleportation and not be in range with your heavy flamers which made most people, including myself, stick to either Twin Bolters or Storm Bolters, depending on the type of unit you're using. Now, with the Heavy Flamer having a range of 12, your unit can drop down and roast the enemy quite handily, as well as still contribute its Bolter shots to whatever target you're firing at. Lastly is the close combat weapons that many people will associate with Terminators, Power Fists and Chain Fists. It appears that their damage has been swapped, so that Power Fists no longer do D3 damage, but do a stock 2 damage. Chain Fists are keeping the additional pip of AP, so they are minus 4 AP, which is quite good at cutting through armour, but now go to D3 damage. So now, the implication is that all models with Power Fists in a Space Marine army, indeed most armies, are going to have changes. This is great for people like me, I have Vanguard veterans who have 2 damage Power Fists in the future, that would be delightful and I would be very happy to take such a unit. We know that Storm Shields have changed in the Indomitus box set, so how that may affect Terminators is essentially giving them a 1 plus armor save. 1 plus armor save with 3 wounds per model and transhuman physiology, we're going to be getting a very effective Terminator Assault Squad. Terminators appear to me to be going back to the actual elite of a Space Marine Army and that is exactly what most of us want for them. Units that play to the background, such as Terminators, which are going to be walking tanks, very much are fun to use. They're very effective on the tabletop, and people enjoy using them. The, the aesthetic of a Terminator is spectacular. People have seen the content pages for Codex Space Marines, and they have mentioned that there is a Relic Terminator squad. We don't know the rules for this unit, but we can bet that it's going to be the Tartarus or Cataphracti Terminators all rolled into one. What this means for the unit, we don't know, but I'm pretty sure... If standard Terminators, Indomitus Pattern, no less, if they have three wounds, you can guarantee that these units will have three wounds per model as well. So, bearing in mind these changes and not anticipating any more changes we just can't predict, it looks like Terminators are once again going to be the premier elite unit for Space Marines. The main use that springs to mind for 9th edition is as board control that drops in, causes a lot of damage with its bolters to enemy infantry, and they can assault in later turns with their rather dependable power fists now. They can soak a lot of fire, meaning that your board control can last into multiple turns, especially with obscuring terrain, and you can hold objectives and score points to win games. Land Raiders that have Terminators on board are now going to be worthwhile perhaps. That heavy vehicle will be delivering a really tough unit that is able to really take the fight to the enemy, carving through any opponent with their power fists or if you take Assault Terminators, smashing them up with their Thunder Hammer and Storm Shields, and yet be very difficult to remove themselves. Ultimately, I believe Terminators are good for the game. They don't operate miles away from the opponents, because they're 
not quite as efficient when they do so. Terminators, being an expensive troops choice, want to get the most out of their points investment. As such, you're going to want to shoot with them and assault with them as much as possible to get as much utility out of all those points that you're putting into them. You're paying for those heavy weapons and those storm bolters. You're paying for those power fists. You are going to want to have to use them to get the most out of the unit. As such, I really recommend using this as a frontline board control unit, perhaps in higher numbers than the basic five. The alternative is to have just a five-man squad that teleports onto an actual table quarter or objective and then shoots the opponent and acts as a really difficult unit to shift, preferably in terrain, or hiding behind obscure terrain. The third way of playing, with Terminator Assault Squad specifically, is as a spearhead unit. You want these to smash your opponent's most powerful and dangerous units, and just tank all the damage that the opponent is going to throw their way. This is possible with chief apothecaries to try and raise them from the dead and heal them, as well as shooting being blocked by obscure and terrain, transhuman physiology and transports to get them up close quickly. Like I said, it's still early days and we don't know exactly where we're going with Codex Space Marines as well as some of the other changes for 40k. But at the moment, Terminators are looking like they're going to be in a very healthy place. Anyway, that's it from me. Please comment below your thoughts, particularly on such an iconic unit such as Terminators. Please like and subscribe, promote the channel as best we can and I'll catch you all soon with another Tactica. Peace out.